Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Gabe Elgara from drumbeatsonline.com, a website that helps you become a better drummer. And today, we are talking about five mistakes that I made as a new drummer that I can help you avoid. The main one being my sense of fashion. Yeah, I made some weird choices. But with that said, let's jump into it. The first mistake that I made as a young drummer is I did not have a good balance of confidence. Now, this can go both ways. For me, when I was a young 13 year old playing in front of audiences at a very young age, it totally went to my head and I thought I was a way better drummer than I actually was. Now, on the other side, which this might be a little bit more relatable, especially now with social media, is a lot of us have very low senses of confidence behind the kit. But what's interesting about that is when you're playing drums by yourself, you don't have that issue. You're able to play much better. But then as soon as you have to play in front of people or you see other drummers on Instagram, your self-confidence just totally takes a dive and I totally get it. The key here is to have a good balance. We wanna be able to access the confidence that we have behind the kit when we are by ourselves, but we don't wanna have too much confidence to where we're skipping over the mistakes that we're making and we think we're actually better than we are. And we don't want our confidence to be so low that we're actually playing worse in front of other people. So I would always just keep this in mind. Where are your confidence levels at? Are they too low? Well, try to access the playing that you had when you were by yourself because really your skill doesn't change, right? It shouldn't change whether or not there's someone in the room. If your confidence is too high, then you can really limit your growth potential and we definitely don't want that either. The second mistake that I made as a young drummer was I listened to the same two drummers over and over and over again. So the way I want you to avoid this is to open yourself up to new drummers, to a bunch of different drummers in a bunch of different genres of music. The reason for this is because for me, when I only listened to Travis Barker of Blink-182 and Trey Cool of Green Day, who are both incredible drummers, but it really limited my window of what I thought could be done behind the drum kit. I thought drums were only made for rock music and I thought you could only play drums in that style. But when I started watching videos of Benny Greb, Jojo Mayer, and Tony Royster Jr., this completely expanded my brain to what I thought could be done behind the drum kit. All of a sudden, this instrument was a completely new one and could be played in completely new ways, and I was way more inspired than I ever was before finding drummers like that. So it's awesome if you have your favorite few drummers right now, but always be on the lookout for other drummers who might play completely differently than you because it will really expand your brain and it'll inspire you to play in new and creative ways behind the kit. Third mistake I made as a new drummer was I did not have a good or balanced practice schedule. Now, I played drums all the time, but the way that I played drums was by playing along to my favorite albums. And I actually think this helped me out big time where I was able to learn how to play drums in music, in the context of guitars and bass and vocals, which is really important. And also it helped me have better timing because all of these songs are mapped out to a click, which is really awesome. However, I didn't have a good balance of these things. So I never spent time really intentionally honing in my skills behind the drum kit and learning things such as rudiments or how to improve my hand speed or my hand technique or my foot speed or anything like that. So I think it's really important to have a balance between these things. If you're only spending time focusing on things such as technique and speed, but never playing along to the context of music, well, that might hurt you in the long run when you have to go play with other musicians. And the opposite is true too. If you're only playing along to songs you might really miss some important details that you need to know behind the kit. So try to have a really well-balanced practice routine where you can play along to music, but also hone in your fine skills. The fourth mistake I made as a young drummer is I closed myself off 
to other styles of music. Like I said, when I first started playing drums, I like to listen to rock music. That's basically all I listened to. So all I knew how to play was rock music. Now, it is totally okay to have a preferred genre of music and to kind of master that genre. However, when you open yourself up to other genres, you can really expand your skills, your knowledge, and where you draw inspiration from behind the kit. So for example, I remember when I was playing a ton of rock music, but then my drum teacher showed me a samba beat, which is something I had no interest in. It really challenged my overall independence as a drummer, but also opened me up to a completely new world of rhythms that I could explore. And maybe I could even explore those rhythms within rock music somehow and find inspiration from that. If you're only closing yourself off to one genre of music, it could actually really hurt you in the long run. So always try to keep an open mind and explore different styles of music. And the fifth mistake that I made as a young drummer is that I never opened myself up to be critiqued by others. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, when I was younger, I had the opportunity to play live a lot, which was great, and it inflated my ego just a little bit too much. So because of this, I thought I was much better than I actually was behind the drum kit. Now when it came time for me to audition for another band, I thought I was just way better than I actually was. So when they gave me legitimate critiques, saying why I didn't make that band, it was absolutely devastating and took me by complete surprise. Now, I could have avoided this if I opened myself up to be critiqued through my friends or family or other musicians that I trusted before going into this audition. That way I would have known, oh, maybe I need to work on my timing a little bit, or maybe my fills are a little bit sloppy. And I could know that and I could really work on those things. Now I know opening yourself up for critique is just scary business. You don't want to hear what's wrong about your playing, but we have to take these things lightly and always look at them as opportunities to grow and to push forward. So I would always recommend opening yourself up for some constructive criticism by someone who you know and trust. Don't always just throw a video out there to random strangers on YouTube because that can be a little bit intimidating. All right, so we did it. Those are the five mistakes that I made as a new drummer. And hopefully by sharing these, I can help you avoid these mistakes, which can help you progress faster. And if you are a new drummer and you are looking to improve your overall confidence, skill, and independence behind the drum set, I actually have a free mini course called the Beginner's Guide to Independence that you can get right now by clicking right up here or in the link in the description below. You will get three free lessons sent straight to your inbox that will really challenge you and I think help you a ton as a new drummer. So go ahead and sign up for that and get your free lessons. If you are a new drummer, what are some mistakes that you feel you are currently wrestling with? Let me know in the comment section below and we can get this conversation started. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay true as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.